So for those of you who don't know, I've just repowered my boat. I've gone from a 30 horsepower two-stroke to a 40 horsepower two-stroke. And this bit is gonna show you a little bit about the performance of the 40 and how much better it is in comparison to that 30 that I had on for a while. Enjoy. The next time I'm gonna see this girl, she's gonna have a 40 on the back. <laughs> here she is. Just been uh, talked through here on how, how she operates. I'm gonna have a ball in this thing. It's, it's a lot bigger though. It is. Well, it's about 35 kilos heavier, but it's also a lot bigger. I'm getting excited. About to get this old girl in the water, 40 horsepower. Come on, Nikki, I'll hold it. <laughs> See if she starts first time. She can get up on the plane, then I'll drop her, drop her back to the three, three and a half thousand revs or so that she needs. All right, here we go. I'd say her top speed is going to be around the 50 kilometers per hour mark. Uh, maybe even a little bit more depending if the wind and tide's with me. Um, she handled really, really well today. Uh, I was super duper impressed. A lot quieter than the 30 horsepower. A lot more power. It got out of the hole a lot, lot quicker. The responsiveness was just fantastic. It just went, just wanted to go. Turning corners was a lot easier. The longer tiller arm made a huge difference in terms of comfort. Um, and you've got all these knobs that you can adjust it with to make it a bit more easier for you too so it'll be stiffer if you just want to kind of hang on to it and cruise. I've got a little tensioning knob here but I decide how tight I want it to be so I can let it just sit there like that. The one thing I was concerned about was the weight and how far it would actually, um, how far the transom would actually be sitting in the water and how high the transom would be sitting. Super duper impressed. Um, given that I did move the 30 kilo battery to the um, the bow, um, I was really impressed that even though I had a full tank of fuel here, this transom was sitting similar to the 30 horsepower, very, very similar. Um, and even in the water and all sorts of things, it was just so much easier. The gas assist is unbelievable. It's a game changing feature. You know, you just let it sit and it goes down quietly pull back up and it's really nice. This is the gas assisted lift that I really like. It's a bit of a luxury, I didn't have that with the 30 horsepower. So a little lever here and watch this girl go down. That is amazing. Lower it down and lock her in there. Lower it down, lock her in there. Lower it down, lock her there. And it's so easy, it's like, Oh, like nothing to it. Just getting ready to draw. Might have fancy rod holes here. Let's be real, I had these set up beforehand. Locked in, ready to go. In fact, I have it sitting like that. Cranked over. New motor, wire fishing, <laughs> big flathead. Whoa. Oh, there goes the nuclear chicken. Holy smokes, that's a big slab of meat. Now don't let go of the clips. <laughs> there you go. Hold on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Back down she goes. Beautiful. Well done, <laughs> Shirley. I'm super impressed. First run on the 40 horse. Get down to Gold Coast Boating Center, guys. They saw you had a good deal. I think there's three there's three forty two strokes left and I called up and I called around. I couldn't find anyone, hey. But the Gold Coast Boating Center, they are the go-to, hey. It's a 4.4 Stessel Apache and uh, it flew. I loved it. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I hope it's been helpful because, you know, sometimes the repowering and 
getting the the YouTube vids, getting them all right and precise so they're informative for you guys. It's kind of hard sometimes. It's my first one. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll give you more of a run next time. Thanks for watching, Snags. Do all the right things. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment if you've got a question. I'm happy to help out too. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm gonna get ready to flush this girl out. First time. That went on a lot longer than the 30. I'd say that probably gave it an extra one minute of uh, runtime without fuel being connected.